Welcome back to another CG Figures tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make Ico particles in Blender, a very straightforward and common figure. Go ahead, grab your default cube, hit X and delete it. With Shift A, add in a Ico sphere, and under the little menu down here, change the subdivisions from 2 to 1. Now we're going to zoom in, tab into edit mode, right click and choose subdivide, and I'm going to go with 5 subdivisions for this Ico sphere. Tap back into object mode, and then with Shift A, go ahead and add in a UV sphere. Right click, shade smooth, and just hit G and move this out of the way. Now, all we're going to do here is put particles on this icosphere. And I'm going to show you at the end a little bonus for how you can use a variety of different spheres in a collection to get some color changes. So, grab your icosphere, tab into edit mode, and see that we have 362 verts. Come to the particle properties tab, add in a new particle system, and we're going to go with hair. We want 362 as our number, and for the source, we're going to choose verts. Uncheck the random order, and so that we can actually use the sphere and not the hair, open the render tab, and for render as, choose object. Then go ahead and choose your object, and you can see now all of our spheres are already on the icosphere. I'm going to grab this scale and just holding shift so that I can move this more subtly, drag in until they're just about overlapping, but not quite. The way that I personally like to use these icospheres is also to hide the actual emitter object underneath. So uncheck show emitter, come down to viewport display and uncheck show emitter again. So if I were to zoom in, you could actually see that this is a hollow icosphere, but I'm going to just drag those back up until again, they're just overlapping. And now we'll go ahead and add some materials. So if I go ahead, grab my UV sphere, come to the material properties and add a new material, I'm going to make this metallic and silver. And so we can see right now we have silver. But what if I want a distribution of different particles? So I want some to be black. I want some to be silver. Let's go ahead, grab our UV sphere, hit Shift D, and just move that out of the way again. Now what we're going to do is hold Shift and click our first sphere. Hit M and put New Collection. And we'll call this collection Spheres. From here, all we have to do is grab our, one of our spheres, hit this little two so that it makes it its own material, and drag that base color down to black. Now, we'll grab our icosphere, come back to the Particle Properties tab, and instead of Render as Object, we're going to choose Render as Collection. What is the collection? The spheres, of course. And so now you can see, just like that, we have a collection of spheres. Some are black, some are silver. If you want the distribution to be different, you can come up to the seed value, and making sure that you have pick random enabled, you can now use the seeds to get different distributions. If you want more black spheres than silver spheres, all you have to do is grab the black sphere in your collection and duplicate it. So now this sphere is going to be overrepresented in the collection. And of course, if at any point I wanted to add extra colors, I could do that by simply changing one of these materials. So let's get a little bit of a gold look in there. Copper, perfect. And now, just like that, you can see how you can use collections, particle systems, and base objects to create common scientific figures like Ico particles. As always, thanks for coming out. If this was at all helpful, consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and colleagues, hopefully use it in some figures, and until next time, have yourself a great old day.